Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and this time I am here to show you a really underutilized tame, the Phoenix. Really easy to tame, stupid easy actually, just light them on fire, literally that's how you tame them. Um, but with these guys they have some really neat functions too. They, not only, I mean, one, they've got neat functions. Two, they have a hilariously awesome superpower. And three, they have a hidden function that people actually forgot about that I'm gonna show you right now. Now, they are ridiculously overpowered for one simple reason. They light anything on fire within a certain distance. You can see blaze targeting on and off. What this allows us to do is this allows us to light anything nearby on fire. No, that's not a joke. Players, tames, anything you see. So if you are on the back of this thing, you've got a regular attack, which is a bite attack. You can shoot a flame ball, just like that right there. There's a talent attack by using C and you, it's like just regular damage. And then there's also, if you hold your jump attack, it'll go into a super speed mode, like you see right here. And it's obviously, it's not invincibly fast, but it's fast. And uh, anything that is nearby, will get lit on fire just because you pass by it. Now, let me show you why that's hilariously overpowered. Now, as long as you're low on the ground and you were just like doing what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna go ahead and fly over the top of these two manas right here and just show you what I mean. So I'm just nearby them, right? Just did a strafing run and I am doing about, look at that right there, maybe a thousand damage. Yeah, about a thousand. So a thousand damage per strafing run, I just went by and did a hundred damage to mana armor per stack, per stack. Now soakers, it works a little bit differently. Now here's another thing. If you stop that man, that run right there and you use their regular attack, this applies a bleed, but it applies bleed with fire. So I just hit it, right? Yeah. Now it doesn't matter how much melee these guys have because it's always going to apply that effect. Look at the damage that this thing can output. So that's like every time I bite that thing, we're doing like a thousand damage. So that's a lot of damage um, for you that are not tracking that. That's a ton of damage. So lighting something on fire, this thing can burn just about anything. You can see there's a 225 mana armor saddle. Oh, and by the way, because the burn was the thing that killed it, you actually get anything in PvP from any distance if the burn is the thing that destroys it. Um, and you can do this from about five foundations away is about the distance that you need to be. I'm gonna go ahead and pass between two diplos so you can see what I mean. So right here, I'm holding that space bar and I go between these two diplos and you can see both of them are now on fire. So you don't even have to hit them. You just have to be nearby. Being nearby, something will light it on fire. Now, it does take a little bit to charge up. It's like 20 foundations in order to charge this thing up. But once you do that, you actually light anything on fire within that little radius. About 10 foundations is what I found the maximum I could hit something at, but you can see it right there. Obviously those are imprinted and all that kind of stuff and mate boosted, uh, but a normal person is gonna have like one mana or one snow owl or something like that in PVP. So if you just burst them with a little bit of that, uh, that fire damage, it's game on, man. Because these things, even though they're like underutilized, they have a ridiculous amount of damage they can off put because of that flame attack. You can see right there, he's uh, he's experiencing that flame damage right there. Now I can also just smack him with my bite and he's gonna stay on fire. So this thing can off put a crazy amount of damage. Now let's say you don't wanna get close. You wanna continue to burn him. Just hit him with a fireball from a distance and it will continue to light those things on fire. This thing is off-putting an insane amount of damage at a ridiculous rate. So per time I light that thing on fire, it's going down a thousand. A thousand. That's a lot. Now obviously you gotta hit him with that attack, but you can see, look at that right there. That's nuts, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you because this is just something that's important to see here. The total damage that we just did to both of these things. So there's a 6,700 and a 4,950. So those things just took 6,000 damage in no time at all. The Phoenix is able to off put a crazy amount and get a bunch of silica pearls. We'll talk about that in a different video because there's a hilarious trick you can use for that. But the Phoenix is an underutilized thing that can get a crazy amount, a crazy amount of damage output. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below whether you agree, disagree, or something you have to add, and then subscribe to the channel, check out some of the other content. I'm trying to pump out stuff all the time for you guys. Hopefully you can leave a subscribe for me. That would be awesome. All right, teach out.